Well, it's Friday and we are cooking with Casey. Casey Schwartz with All Things Mama is here. And we are starting Thanksgiving a little bit early. Hello, Hello. lady. Welcome back to the Thank show. You. Thank you. So what are we making today? This okay. stuff looks pretty familiar. I know. So this is stuff that you've seen before. We're going to make a green bean casserole, but we're going to put a twist on it. So just to spice it up a little bit. Okay. Literally. <laughs> Literally, yeah. And is this, is this the actual recipe on the back of the... No, that's not the recipe we're going to use. So you're going to okay. have to go to my blog that I have it on there today. But what happened was we always have green bean casserole every year um, since I was growing up. But I wanted to do something just a little different and change it up. And actually Walmart came to me and said, hey, take the green bean casserole, spice it up a little bit, do something different, mm. and then um, put it all together. So this is what I came up with. So how long did it take you to work on that creation? Not too long. <laughs> So just kind of figuring out the ingredients and what I wanted to do with it was really like, what can I do that's different okay. that will still keep the classic elements, okay. um, but just change it up a little bit. All right, well, let's so, get yeah. started. Okay, let's get started. We're going to move over here. Okay. Um, so what I did is normally it does not have um, onions and mushrooms, but we're going to put it in. So we're hmm. going to saute up the mushrooms and onions in a pan. We're going to get our butter. What I do is a tablespoon of butter and about a tablespoon of olive oil. I think it just gives it a nice golden-y color okay. and a lot of flavor. Well, the mushrooms and the onions kind of make it a little grown up. It does. What do your kids think about it? You know, it? they really liked it. I didn't tell them it was in it. <laughs> You just kind of snuck those vegetables in. I did. It was right and in so, there. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't seem to mind. So what I'm going to do now is I usually put in the onions first because we want those to brown up. Yeah. Um, get that going in here. Get the heat up. I know when I was a kid, I didn't like onions at all. I didn't. No. So you would have to sneak them in on my face. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, the thing is, is they're going to be nice and soft and brown, and so you're not even going to really even realize they're there, but they're going to give a lot of flavor. So we're going to just keep sauteing, sauteing. And then throw, just dump those in there. <laughs> we're going to dump these in. Okay. Um, well, it smells good already. I know. It does. It's you're, really you, strong in you here. You know, I think every time I see you, we have butter. Is that a... <laughs> Is that a staple? That <laughs> is definitely just a requirement All for right. cooking with me. Yeah. So we're going to saute, saute, saute. And while these are sauteing, let's go ahead and move over here and we'll talk about this a little bit. So we're going to use our normal classic elements. You're going to have two cans of cream mushroom soup. And if you want to put those in there okay. with that spoon, just dump those right in. I can handle this. You can. This I is can. easy. Anyone can do this recipe. So we got mushrooms yes. in here. We got mushrooms over there. Right. You know, a lot of people, they're just, I can take or leave mushrooms. Like, yeah. I love them. Yeah. I know some people are like, you know, they can either love or hate mushrooms. I know. And you know what I used here is I used use the like um, mini bella mushrooms that are a little bit thicker and have a little bit more flavor okay um, just because I wanted the nice chunks of mushrooms in there I didn't want them to completely cook away where you didn't know they were there oh okay so yeah. do that and then put in a cup of milk and just kind of stir that around a little bit okay. that's what's there and you can use this big the whole thing yep the okay. whole thing Alrighty. use a big okay. spoon here right okay sure either one is fine so what? when we get that all mixed around we're gonna add in our four cans of green beans hmm. okay I'm gonna cook over here while you're. Whoops! Things are flying. Yeah, I know. I while see you're some onions flying out of the pan yeah. there. That's a, so. How long is the prep time on this on this dish? Oh, I don't know. Maybe ten minutes, something like that. If we're at home doing it, we're gonna cut up our mushrooms and our onions. It's not too bad. Yeah. So next, you're gonna dump in those four cans of the green them beans. Just dump them Just in. Just dump there. them in. So how long is the cook time then? Is well, we're gonna cook it for 25 minutes. And it's going to get all nice and bubbly at 350. Mm, okay. And then we're going to then take it out and we're going to put on the these French's crispy fried onions that everyone yeah. loves. And they have the traditional recipe on theirs, but yours they do. sounds more right. special. So go ahead and Just mix, mix that all up. up. And I'm going to dump in a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper while you're doing that. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sure your family likes this better anyway. This is probably yeah. even better. This I think so. And then, you know, you twist. add the vegetables so it makes it healthy. And then what we're going to do, and this is a twist, this is pepper jack cheese. Mm. So this is a cup of pepper jack cheese, so it's going to spice it up. I'm going to put this in. Cheese is a food. And you just mix it really good cheese. while I'm doing this, and then we're going to take this off here in just one second okay. and right, put I'm this in. I'm told we're out of time, so oh, we'll, well, let's pour it in. we'll have to come back to this. Yeah, I'm going to pour it in while you're talking. <laughs> all right. That? We're going to just pour this in, mix it all together, and put it in the pan. Casey's going to stick around. We're going to see her again <laughs> coming up at 849. To check out this recipe, head to allthingsmama.com and click on food for all things food. <laughs> 
We are back in the kitchen and cooking with Casey. Casey Schwartz with All Things Mama has a unique twist on an old favorite. Mm -hmm. Casey, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for having me back. We love it when you're here on Fridays. Fun time oh, in the kitchen. Too. It's so much fun. I love it. And we always have food. We always have food. Yeah. But we have, a, you, you, you cover all stuff I on do. your website. Right. And next week we're going to do something other than food. Other than so. <laughs> Isn't it's, that next week we're going to do uh, yeah, Thanksgiving like, centerpieces and yeah. things? So it's a, it still has to do with food. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still kind of foodish. Right, It's right. foodish. Uh -huh. Now, green bean casserole is a pretty popular recipe mm -hmm. that right. we can find just about anywhere. It's on yes. the back of the box. The it traditional is. recipe. It is. What makes this one different? Well, what we did was we sauteed mushrooms and onions and a little butter and a little olive oil and got that all nice and soft and golden brown. Uh, we mixed that in. And we also added pepper jack cheese, which gives it a little bit of a kick and a little bit of a spice and what is not better with cheese love cheese love cheese and love I, I know cheese. I know your kids probably love the cheese they but do then what do they think about the mushrooms and then the onions well if they see the mushrooms they do pick those out the onions <laughs> I know the onions are in there a little bit so they didn't, they didn't mention that so much mm, so okay I mean you know it is it is kind of a traditional dish that looks different it's not yeah McDonald's chicken nuggets which they love <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah so but it has vegetables it has the mm -hmm. cream of mushroom soup like always yeah milk um, all those traditional elements Elements. And also the French fried onions. Who doesn't love these? Mm -hmm. And this is the one that's not right. quite done. So what we did was we cooked that for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. It got all hot and bubbly. And then we're going to take it out of the oven and we're going to add on the crispy onions. So why don't you just pour some, about half a container, you know, and really it's kind of whatever you like. But I think in my recipe I put about a cup. About a cup. Yeah, okay. just all over it. And then Can we just dump like the whole container You in could. I could. I could. I yummy. would. Mm -hmm. I, I could. I would. You could eat them as a snack on your salad at lunch to make oh, it healthy. That's a good idea. Yeah. You know, every time you come here, Casey, you have good ideas. I know. You better just hang with me, Mel. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to just sneak one of those mushrooms off the top, but I probably won't. I know. Okay. So I what that's more than uh, that's okay. half the container. It's all right. Well, this is a big dish. Aren't these beautiful? I got these. These are actually, if you follow blogs, they're the Pioneer Woman's new line at Walmart. I like her show. Oh, yeah. me too. Well, it's all about food. She cooks a lot and of butter. Com comfort food. Yeah, it is. What I'm going to do, why don't you open the oven? All right. I'm going to take this over. We're going to put this back in for about five minutes. Okay. Okay. Until it gets nice and hot. All right. So we want to kind of brown yes. that, right? We're going to brown it, and it's going to look like this one over here when we're done. Okay. So these are nice and crispy. And to me, they actually look like they're fried on top, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they, they but do. But they're not. So, so you've got pepper jack cheese mm -hmm. in yours. Could we use yes. a different cheese? I think perhaps? you could. What about maybe mozzarella or provolone or something like that? I guess you could even do cheddar. Cheddar, yeah. Probably your favorite. Yeah. Let's we'll scoop some up and try it. What's your favorite cheese? Oh, I love cheese. So really any. But any the cheese. pepper jack is good. But it, what I buy at the store each week, we make a lot of quesadillas at home. So I get the Colby Jack. Mm. That's what my kids like. Yeah. And I like it on sandwiches, so I'll get that at the deli. So will you be serving this for... I'm going to because this one is so oh, good. Get your fork there. Okay. Um, this one is so good. And when I made it for my vlog the last time, I did two recipes. One will be on there next week, and it actually uses this recipe. But then we put it in little individual dishes, mm. so you could serve that up at Thanksgiving as something fun. But I was eating it for days. I just put it in the fridge. Mm. Let me try. So you're going all out for Thanksgiving? This is good. Mm. It is good. I'm going to chew. Going on. Mm. <laughs> we are. Usually what I do is we go down to Carlinville. That's where my husband's family is from. Mm -hmm. And we do Thanksgiving down there at his brother's house. Mm. And, you know, everybody brings a dish and they have turkey and ham and lots yeah. of desserts. I like the desserts, as yeah. you can tell. Yeah. So I'll probably do this and also um, sweet potato casserole. Have you ever yeah. done fried turkey? We had a mm. guy on the show yesterday did fried turkey. Oh, you should have me here. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. But yes. You're, you're always here. You're always going to yeah, come back. Call me. Because we love you, Casey. <laughs> thank you. And I got food in my mouth. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being here. Thank you. As always. For this particular green bean recipe, mm -hmm. visit our website, allthingsmama.com, and right. click on food for all things food. Right.